It's easy enough to fact check. We already know that the Orange Anus lost the 2020, um, 2020 squad of roll election. Um, in the claim, Pumpkin Tits has claimed that he won the 2020 election, which we know he didn't. This is weeks after after the bitterly fought presidential race ended with the naming of Joe Biden as the winner of, um, over Pumpkin Tits. Some are still claiming that a victor cannot be named. Um, um, on Facebook, a po somebody put up a post saying that Pumpkin Tits won and that the world is starting to see fight on Patriots. You mean inbreeding rednecks, not Patriots. Um, to victory. The user who made the post did not respond to USA's Today's request for comment. That same claim has been um, has been promoted by the squatter himself, who has who has yet to concede to the he has yet to concede the election to Biden. Um, Pumpkin Tits claims that no way we lost the election, but you did. Um, Pumpkin Tits tweeted November 29th along with a video of his inbred supporters. Um, despite efforts to um, convince the country all um, in the courts otherwise. Pumpkin Tits did not win re-election. Um, Pumpkin Tits broke um, Ob Pro President Barack Obama's popular vote record with over 74 million votes, but he still fell short. But he still fell short of Biden, who surpassed Pumpkin Tits and all previous presidential candidates by racking up a record-shattering 81 million votes. And the Biden-Harris ticket gained only ru gained roughly 51 percent of the popular vote to the Pumpkin Tits and and and, and the dumbass Pence's um Pence's 47 percent ticket, according to the nonpartisan Cook Political Report. But as of um the two but as the twenty uh, as the two thousand and twenty sixteen election showed, the popular vote is not the sole determinant of the um, um of presidential elections. Electoral college makes that final call. Each state is allowed a number a number of electors, which is determined by adding its number of senators, which is always two, to its number of House representatives, and that varies by state. Nationwide, there are five hundred thirty eight electoral votes to cast. On election day, people who vote for their preferred candidates, electors, who are chosen by political parties or independent candidates before the election, those individuals collectively, um, collectively, the Electoral College then cast votes for the president and vice president, usually representing the choice that their state's voters made. Um, candidates, ha candidates have to win at least half of the country's electoral votes, which would be 270, to be elected president. Biden had won 306 electoral votes to, um, to pumpkin tits as projected 232. Thanks to wins in key states like Georgia, 16 electoral votes, Michigan, 16 votes, Wisconsin, 10 votes, Pennsylvania, 20, and Arizona, 11. Pumpkin Tits won by the same uh, same electoral college breakdown in 2016, which he basically, in his mind, was called a landslide. Um, the Pumpkin Tits um, campaign and its allies flooded state and federal courts after the election. They filed over 40 lawsuits, most of them, a majority of them being tossed out, um, which, which he filed 40 lawsuits primarily in the battleground states. According to a running tally by Mark Elias, um, primarily um, primarily as a Democratic election expert and founder of the Democracy Docket, the lawsuits claimed that ballots had errors because voters were required to use Sharpies and observers didn't have enough access to monitor ballot counting and late arriving mail ballots were improperly mixed with legal votes. None has gotten very far, just, just one case has been won, and at least eight are pending. Dave Wasserman, who's the House editor of the nonpartisan Cook Political Report, told USA Today that, that Pumpkin Tits has no path to a victory. The case for Pumpkin Tits having won the election is so preposterous that the only explanation is that the losing side does not like the results, he said. Many of the Pumpkin Tits supporters have expressed disbelief that Biden won, and by such a margin. But Biden's campaign won by persuading just enough swing voters, making gains in unexpected states, and rebuilding the coveted blue wall that toppled over in 2016. According to, to, a, C, to a CNN's national exit poll, 94% of the self-described Democrats voted for Biden in 2020, compared to Hillary Clinton's 89% of the self-described Democrats in 2016, and 89% of the self-described Democrats compared to Clinton's 84%. Biden's victory was easily, was really won on the basis of support from moderates and independents, though. He received 64% of the votes that were cast by self-described moderates and 12, and 12 points ahead of Clinton, and he won independents by 13 points, a group that Clinton, only, that Clinton lost by, by 4 points. Mm -hmm. um, Biden had continued to build on the on the groundwork that was laid out by Clinton in historically red states like Arizona and Georgia. Clinton did not win Arizona or Georgia back in 2016, but she did perform better than Obama in both. The swing the swing toward um, Biden in no states was more than a than double his national swing. CNN reported, and Wasserman said he predicted prior to the election that Arizona and Georgia would flip. 
but the similar states of Texas and Florida would not would not due to their Hispanic electorate. It's the fact that Texas and Florida have such high Hispanic shares, but in particular, and in Florida, the Hispanic electorate is substantially um, Cuban, and we know that 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 was a particular strength for um, pumpkin tits entering this election. Whereas um, in Arizona, Hispanic voters are predominantly of Mexican ancestry, and pumpkin tits did not make such make did not make as such did not make as strong a stride among those voters, he said. In Georgia, there's not much of Hispanic vote to speak of, so it was really a question of what the shift would be in the Atlanta suburbs. Um, the orange fuck weasel suggested throughout his campaign that Biden would destroy the beautiful suburbs, but it turned out many suburbanites agree disagreed. Biden won a won back a, a number of crucial Midwest states that Clinton lost to to um, the orange fuck weasel in 2016, largely thanks to suburban voters. The cluster of historically Democrat won states which dubbed the blue wall include three of uh, three are of the five major battleground states at this election cycle. We saw a consistent pattern across the country in both close states and states that weren't even close to call. So so um so that Biden made significant strides compared to Clinton's performance four years ago in suburbs, predominantly affluent suburbs of major metro areas, Wasserman said in Wisconsin, the divide between the states, rural and urban populations was defined as forty two Wisconsin counties. Many small and rural cast more ballots for pumpkin tits than in 2016, but Biden won Wisconsin by bolstering support in the populous suburbs of Milwaukee and Madison. De Despite the average turnout in the cities themselves, Biden erased pumpkin tits' his entire 2016 margin in Wisconsin and just the county surrounding um, the Milwaukee um, surrounding Milwaukee area, Wasserman said. That same divide made Michigan competitive. Biden made gains in counties like Kent, and and also Grand Rap where Grand Rapids is located and the Detroit metropolitan area. Though he underperformed Clinton in the city of Detroit, Pumpkin Tits improved his margin statewide, but not enough but but it wasn't enough to surpass Biden's lead. Um that same divide made Michigan competitive. Um I'm sorry. Biden again leaned on the suburb of suburb suburbs of major metropolitan areas in Pennsylvania, and he outperformed Clinton by getting more than 150,000 150, votes in the in, in the four counties that surrounded Philadelphia. Wasserman said that Biden erased pumpkin tits' 2016 margin in just two of those counties. Since cities are typically Democratic strongholds, um, as are rural areas for Republicans, the, suburb the suburbs in between the two have always been highly contested. According to the Brookings Institute, there was a shift in the large suburban counties from a 1.2 million vote advantage for pumpkin tits in 2016 to a 613,000 uh, vote advantage for Biden as of mid-November. Pumpkin tits and his allies have largely pointed towards cities as the crux of, of un unfounded claims of fraud, but cities aren't to blame for the squatter's loss. There's also um there's also um there's also a pretty consistent pattern that cities are some of the only places where pumpkin tits performed than he did four years ago, Wasserman said, appointing to Milwaukee, Philadelphia, and Detroit, all cities and swing states, as well as New York and, and um Chicago, the idea that somehow the patterns don't line up is preposterous because we're seeing them in both the close states and the non-competitive states. The blue wall wasn't um, the only place that Biden won back with the help of suburbs in Georgia. The state was flipped blue due to a combination of higher turnout in Atlanta and massive gains in the suburbs around it. And Fulton County, which includes most of Atlanta, Biden beat Biden beat pumpkin tits by 240,000 votes to cleanse 180,000. And in growing suburban and in, in, in the and in, in the growing suburban um counties, Gwinnett and Cobb which are farther out from Atlanta, Biden beat pumpkin tits by 132,000 votes there, and Clinton won those counties combined by just 26,000 votes last um, a few years ago. Wasserman said that Biden's success in the suburbs is likely due to, to um, both a, um, attitudinal um, change in the past four years and the exodus of black voters nationwide from cities to suburbs. Biden, no matter how, how pumpkin tits tries to spin it, Biden will be inaugurated as president on January 20th, whether pump, Pumpkin Tits acknowledges Biden's win as legitimate or not. Biden has already begun the process of transitioning to the country's highest office. Though Pumpkin Tits has not formally conceded, his administration has granted a new administration access to intelligence reprints, office space, secure computers, and other government services. USA Today previously reported that Pumpkin Tits tweeted on November 23rd that the, that the move was made as his recommendation, which it wasn't. The announcement made by Emily Murphy, who's a dumb cunt of the General Services Administration, allocated over $6 million to Biden's transition team for hiring and other and other transitional-related expenses. But since then, Biden has made a number of cabinet picks 
including his chief of staff, treasury secretary, director of national intelligence, head of the Department of Homeland Security, ambassador to the United Nations, climate change envoy, secretary of state, defense secretary, and health and human services um, secretary. Um, but, analyst, but analysts of um, the 2020 election results explain Pumpkin's hits is lost to Biden. We rate, well, we rate, we rate um, the claim that pump, that Pumpkin's hits won as false because he did not. So if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. Ryan Van Mike and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And thanks for listening.